at the university we go to, it's right. It's a college sketch troupe, and we would go in front of a censorship board to be like, make sure. Obviously, we're not going to write any swears in it because they're like, hey, let's do a PG show, and it's like, yeah, that's totally like, of course, right? People are going to bring their kids. Like, we're not going to be like dropping f bombs, yeah, whatever. Of course, but like, they did stuff like my friend Katie had uh, uh, her poster. We do posters and put them around the school. She was wearing like a dress, like a a normal dress. And like the idea was like, we were all just like dolled up for the posters, right? Yeah. And I'm, I'm literally talking like an inch above the knee, like yeah. a dress. It's a regular dress. And, <laughs> and the, the censorship board was like, this is promiscuous. This is like glorifying like sexuality that we like don't adhere to and i'm like motherfucker you're horny like you're, you you're horny. are the you're the you're one watching. projecting this shit right <laughs> like this is in your brain it's like everybody else in the room is like what is this guy talking about <laughs> absolutely and like so th- that was like the first taste of like weird like with this administration mm. and then i found out later that uh Damon Henninger, who's the CEO of Core Civic, who's the largest private prison corporation in America. He's on the board of trustees at Belmont University. Wow. And they like talk about how like, you know, the teachings of Christ lead their school. And it's like, I don't, I don't really see anything less Christ like than mass incarceration and like not leaving, you know, giving Very people. A, and I don't want to get into semantics. It's a, it's a tough issue, like public versus private, uh, uh um, Institutions, Insti- yeah, and yeah, specifically I understand like that. jailing, and like they're profiting off of mass incorpora- incarceration, yeah. And it's like if you're profiting off of people in jail, the there's incentive, an incentive is bam to keep more people in jail, yeah. Arrest is made and keep the draconian drug laws in place to keep like stop and frisk in place to keep like all of these like like think you know non uh, progressive ideals in place so i was like well that sucks so i started emailing the president and got called into his office a whole bunch of times and yeah bob bobby and i go back what what did he just ask you to stop to stop emailing me no he wanted to like just talk to me about like you know he's like well what can i do and i'm like motherfucker take him off the board like this he has no place to why is this person associated with education like higher education did he address the hypocrisy and the whole situation no, at every, least no <laughs> no he just wouldn't even mention uh, like, did you ever try to bring it up like you do realize someone on your board of trustees oh yeah no, no is, i told it right to his face but like it was also like four four years ago th- three so i wish i knew like every single sentence in that thing yeah but um i mean the the vibe he gave me was like ah, oh, it's out of my hands and then there were like multiple petitions, like change.org petitions be like this guy has no like so it wasn't and i didn't even start it mm-hmm. no i was just like the vocal one on the page being like, and you know, I'm asking questions. Yeah. Yeah. And at the same time, I'm like coming into this thing that people are telling me that I am, which is a comedian. And so I'm like, well, I can be like a loud mouth about this. Cause it's funny yeah. to me to like tell Bob Fisher sure. that, you know, he eats donkey wheat. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny to me. It's very funny. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. So, Belmont's also done some other sus, sus things. They like fired a soccer teacher, the women's soccer coach, for being a homosexual. Really? Yeah. Before what year was we that? got there, like it was like mid two thousands, maybe like oh eight or something, wow. or twenty ten. Uh, she like came out. Cause she was like, "Hey, I'm getting married to a woman," and they're like, "Cool, have fun not having a job here anymore," or like they strongly asked her to leave. That's fucked. And again, I'm like, you know, just doing um. Uh, uh, sort of platitudes here. I'm sure there's way more details involved to everything I've brought up, but uh-huh. like this is just, you know, the good, the cream, the 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 the, the nuts and bolts of the situation. The nuts and bolts, the cream. I'm yeah. sure they have excuses as to why they fired her. Yeah. You know, well, excuse excuses as we will. I remember in one of my freshman classes at Belmont, they said something like uh, that the professors had to sign a paper saying they were Christian if they wanted the job. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And you like have the- to be. Like and here's what's funny is that the theology department has pushed against that rule harder than any department at Belmont. That's be like, so... we would love to like if we're gonna have to have it like world religion studies or you know a study of Islam, we would love for I don't know someone who practices the faith to be able to teach it because like hell yeah theology department like that's sick. Um,